Hey, Ben. Who's mm. breathing into their microphone? How's Catherine today? No change. Damn. This guy's the devil himself. This damn mummy will suck your soul out through your asshole. Ben, you know this cop, Magnata? Would you like a ding-dong? Typical new breed cop. One of those guys started arresting people in volume when cops started collecting bonuses. He's, uh, been more aggressive than most. Yeah, that's common knowledge, but what's his story? He's killed six people in the line of duty, some under questionable circumstances. For some? He's bad news. I wouldn't mess with him, Quinlan. Isn't any time you kill somebody a questionable circumstance? Didn't we run anything on this Wofford murder? Yep. Did you Google it? Cyber architects. They lived near the old uh, Central Park. Before the robot war. Somebody put a bullet in Hamilton Wofford's head. Cops don't have a motive yet. I remember a lot about it. They probably had a lot of money stashed away in that cottage, but there's no evidence of a robbery. I wasn't listening, so I'll just nod politely when you stop talking. You ever hear of a Joey Falconetti, Ben? Hmm, no, the name sounds vaguely familiar, but mm. I can't quite place it. Ah, note from the girlfriends. Jake, if anything should happen to me, look to the crystals and let the light shine your way. Uh, looks like the game finally remembered we're in a puzzle-oriented game, although... I don't know, if anything, if she had something to tell me, why couldn't she just, I, I don't know, email me the vital information? Or, if you were paranoid about security, like, use a safety deposit box? I'm guessing this involves some kind of, like, a laser tripwire trap, several combinations scattered throughout the city... That kind of thing. Yeah, I can never use those ergonomic split-hand keyboards. A computer with a deck port. Kinky. You can never have too many of those. What, computers or deck ports? And you thought the Apple chime was annoying. Exit cyberspace. <laughs> yes, because in the future you won't just enter in a text web address, you'll be forced to wander around the hellish virtual landscape of Mordor. <laughs> in fact, you'll be forced to look through several other websites you have no interest in whatsoever until you can find the one you want. Although, this is still less frustrating than using Windows ME. But it's getting there. Virtual Library. Ah, Mommy, the internet is scary. I don't want to be on it anymore. Somebody help me! Was this annoying and hellish just to get to a public library? Just imagine what you gotta do to get the kind of illegal Asian porn I like. I could use some help here. You're a human presence, I assume. Everyone at a service desk is. The library doesn't use smart sprites for public interface. You don't read much, do you? No, ma'am, I'm just a reporter. Seriously, he's a reporter who doesn't know how to use a library! Did you see a woman named Renee Stein recently? Over at Knopf? Records place her here, but she didn't check anything out, and I don't remember seeing her. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you over the roaring jet engines! Have the cops talked to you? They asked questions, but I couldn't tell them much. They copied all the files from the Victorian root directory and ordered us not to alter the file structures until the case is solved. So any clues left from the day Stein was killed would still be here? Guess so. I sure didn't take them. This is a great reading environment with the swarms of flying books and the jet-powered robots. Will you look into the mirror, Frodo? I see. Oh, sorry. A note with some call numbers on it. Could Renee Stein have left this here? And I appear to be in a completely different dimension, and I'm back. Can you help me with this call number? It's hard, and I don't know how. This is not a valid call number. It appears Stein altered the reference matrix, Neo. but an unknown book was distributed. If you could unscramble the call number, I could help you. Or in other words, the very first puzzle of the game, all right. Was it 45 minutes in, we're finally at our first puzzle? So uh, I made the decision very early on not to force you to watch me suffering through these puzzles for hours trying to figure them out. Um, and it's not because I'm trying to conceal the fact that I consulted walkthroughs to pretend like I'm really smart. I did consult walkthroughs for some of the harder puzzles, but actually not for this one. I, I spent a little bit of time on this one, and it's actually one of my favorites for being the first. So uh, if you'd like to try to figure it out now, just pause the video here and, you know, write down your little answer. And uh, from here, I'll tell you the general thought process behind figuring out the solution.
the first two letters are HC, which I basically just tried through guesswork, but the key there is the first two letters are AB and then C, so it's HC. The real tricky part comes the bit in the parentheses where it says no I aid, which is actually a clue to a number because the next four uh, things are numbers. And that actually translates to no I aid is 2020 plus one, so it's 2021. And then the last bit is 18, which is, of course, the 18th letter of the alphabet, R, and that's it. Wait, Quinlan, that's a valid call number. I'll get the book. It's the Dewey Decimal System of the future! Ow, don't throw it! A book about the original Jack the Ripper. Can't be a coincidence. Renee Stein must have used this. Over at Knopf. What does it mean? Why would she feel the need to conceal the fact she was interested in the book on Jack the Ripper when it's pretty much assumed that this entire case has some connection to Jack the Ripper already? All I can do for you is recommend something to read, Quinlan. How about Mailer's email to myself? I'm not sure what the point of it is, but it's really long. You could try the Game of Thrones series, but it's only the year 2040, so there's no way George R. R. Martin's finished it yet. Catherine's address file. No, 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 they got that wrong. That's not George Rhodes, that's George Will. Look at the bow tie and the stupid hair. For those of you playing at home, try dialing these numbers and see who picks up. Oh, save that number, Quinlan. After all, you might be soon in the market for a new girlfriend, am I right, people? Huh? <laughs> okay. This is how I picture the director sitting around in his office. He's trying to think of people to cast in his new futuristic Jack the Ripper game. He's like, I need someone to play a computer hacker. And then he gets an idea. He picks up his phone and he says, get me Jimmy Walker. Okay, so let me get this straight. In the future, Rolodex has become bigger, uglier, slower, much more expensive, harder to use, require a power outlet, and actually get much less done. Well, my girlfriend's as good as dead, so I better go loot her apartment before relatives get to it. Don't! Oh! Back to disc one, damn it. Wow, look at the size of this place. Looks like Catherine's doing all right for being a uh, online blogger's researcher. And here's the second puzzle of the game. Catherine's crystals. I always thought they were a little too neo-new-agey for Catherine. I'll just tell you right now, this puzzle is impossible. And this was before the internet, so you couldn't just look up on GameFAQs. You were pretty much stuck on this puzzle for days, and it was this kind of guesswork on whether or not you finished it. The trick here is, you explore the uh, the room and find out that uh, Catherine was really into the horoscopes, and so you find out her birthday is on this date, and specifically that makes her a Pisces. So, looking around some more, you find a horoscope chart on her wall, and if you zoom in on that, you'll find out the general pattern for what the Pisces constellation looks like. And once you know what the general pattern of the Pisces diagram looks like, you have to write that down, and then replicate that using the crystals in the little box. The only problem with that is, you have to be so exactly precise when you lay your crystals down in this box. You look at the sheer number of uh, little boxes here and the number of crystals that are given to you. You have to be exact or it doesn't work. And I just no idea, I have no idea how it expects you to be so exact when you're not given any firm frame of reference here. It's really just guesswork on trying to replicate this pattern. And it's not complete guesswork, I mean you're given the picture, you know generally what it looks like. But the problem is, even having this general idea, you're still working with about eight or nine different crystals, and if even one is off by one square, well, you don't get the credit for solving it. And you have no idea on whether or not how many crystals are off, how far they're off, there's no solution, there's no partial credit here, there's no way to know if you're even close to solving it. So a lot of this puzzle is just spending hours shuffling crystals around one at a time just to see, just guessing, you know. So, uh, this is one that's kind of tailor-made for internet solutions. It, it, it's so much simpler, and it's not because you're dumb. I mean, you know the answer to this puzzle. It's just the game won't give you credit for knowing it. But yeah, somehow I did this back in the day, before there were walkthroughs online. Don't ask me how. I'm, uh, it, this was just pure trial and error for hours. Oh crap, what did I just do? I've activated the Death Star or something. Ah! <laughs> What? All that to 
shoot lasers into a horoscope book? She spent thousands of dollars, spent days configuring and aligning that laser, you know, setting up that whole crystal thing just to do that, and I can't even pick up the book? I can't see what's in it. I just have to know that the word horoscope is important. Okay, that's great. This entire apartment, the entire feng shui of the apartment, she spent months doing this to set up that puzzle. Okay. Okay, you're kind of straining the uh, suspension to disbelief there, game. Good one. Man, that was kind of a ripoff for all that work you might have had to do back in the day. You know, like, I spent, imagine spending a few days trying to solve that puzzle. You finally did it, and that was the payoff. Like, two little lasers hit a book called Horoscope that you would have seen anyway. <sighs> I don't know. Once again, the game didn't tell me anything I didn't already know. The fact that she's really into Jack the Ripper lore, and she's into the horoscope. Oh, god damn it, gotta switch the discs again. Christopher Walken and Jimmy Walker. Not since Pacino and De Niro and Heat has the silver screen been so electrified. And this place sells what exactly? So Biddy? Name's Quinlan. I'm a friend of Catherine Powell's. I was wondering when you're gonna come by. I read about Catherine in the paper. I told her she was getting too close to that maniac. Well, she never told me anything about you. What was she coming to see you about? Take it easy, cowboy. Mine hasn't worked in years. Aww. Besides, Catherine didn't dig the training wheels. I was her source, and that was it. Well, I guess we can scratch that off the list of things I was hoping never to think about. Jimmy Walker's non-functioning wang. What did you do for Catherine? Like I do for anybody. I do what needs doing. I run a little B&E in the net, melt some ice, do a little handwriting analysis. Hey, I got my code for everything. Good times. The selling smoke and melting ice don't go together. Strange qualifications for a shopkeeper. Hey, in the net, everything is in link, Quinlan. The shop is the shop. In cyberspace, I can walk. I can run. I can fucking dance, baby. But acting? Well, technology can't work miracles, baby. What do you sell? Dildos. Whatever you need, Mr. Quinlan. Whatever you need. Just received a full shipment of Virginia Red Leaf, laced with Lucitrell. Got a full range of smart drugs. You know, to catch the Ripper, you're going to have to outthink So we got problems. Well, Catherine tells me you can use chemical assistance. Anyway, just take a look around my shop. My prices are dynamite! What was she investigating? She was trying to make a connection between the Ripper's murder victims. And she came to you? Why? What do you sell? Computers? Drugs? Weed? What? So you're like a deck jock, then. Are there any new innovations in cyberspace I should know about? Well, notional engineering made some big advances, but the basic idea is still the same. Most of the angels you meet will be pre-packaged product from TransTech or... or the cue card I just looked at. Only the ace angels can design their own wings. So there shouldn't be any surprises waiting for me? I didn't say that. I mean, it's just that things will look familiar. Everybody you meet will either be a rendered image or a video image that looks awfully real. Of course, you only get video from the best hackers are from direct brain images. Wow, and you thought LeVar Burton could sell bullshit techno babble. What do you think about the ice soap? Why are you so worried about ice? Well, it's slippery. I have a feeling it's gonna get worse. Is it just me, or is Jimmy just looking at the script in his lap? There's some really bizarre stuff on the net these days, ever since Rembus came up with that software with the Ice Maker program. You know, anybody with a deck can construct their own ice. Bizarre stuff. Oh yeah, attack dogs, giant rats, minefields, monkey balls, you name it. Monkey balls? I can't tell you how to prepare for that world, brother. You's on your own. I played Super Monkey Ball. That game sucks. Still digging for dirt on your girlfriend, Quinlan? Well, not if she's messing with monkey balls. You got to keep an eye on a woman. All right, let's see what else he's got in the store besides rare Mayan antiques. Weird. Ooh, Mini Trucker Magazine. Objects what? scanned into database. So in the future, every bookstore, magazine, and newspaper was instantly crippled overnight by the invention of software that could scan any magazine or book off a shelf instantaneously. <laughs> so much for digital rights management, I guess. Man! Who goes there? Hey, make it to me, Rocky! Murderer! Murderer! Of the English language, maybe. I'm just a journalist. 
Beware you. I've got weapons here <laughs> that can render you helpless. For I am Saruman, ringmaker, Saruman of many colors. Just after you some information. You, sir, stand in my domain. And the question is, who are you? What is the capital of Assyria? Jake Quinlan, from the Virtual Herald. Quinlan. Quinlan, I, I know that name. Before the Empire. You're the one who speaks for the Ripper. No, I don't speak for him. He just writes me letters and we print them. They're news. But who are you? I am the Penguin. I thought the owner of this house was dead. <laughs> one of them is my twin brother. But you knew him as Colonel Sanders. What do you call the most fascinating project of his life? And then I, I found him shot dead right here in this room. And his secret original recipe of 11 herbs and spices died with him. Man, it's really sad what Alzheimer's did to Orville Redenbacher near the end. What did the police tell you? Uh, the police, bah! <laughs> I'm sure they're in on it. Ah. You think the police are in on your brother's murder? It's obvious the way they were rooting around in Hamilton's work. Kept asking him for his well address and threatened to lock me up if I didn't tell him. But they got nothing out of me. They took away cartons of his discs. But they won't find anything there. Hamilton was too smart for them, too. Was the cop a guy named Magnata? Oh, it was some Irish cop named <laughs> Chief O'Hara. I should have vaporized him. What? You'll get nothing out of me. I'm sure. Don't sass me, boy. I'll boil your organs with my weirding module. Why don't you tell me about your brother's work? You don't know? He was famous. Porn star. Or he should have been. He built virtual worlds. Places from history, locations from the future, and you walk through them in cyberspace, like walking through the corridors of time itself. And he was a genius, like Leonardo. And what was he working on in the end? It was some video game called Duke Nukem Forever. Mum's the word, as he would say. And all I know, it was something involving stranger research than usual. And he came out of cyberspace one night and he told me he'd spent the day in an English music hall. And that's all I can remember. Wow. Wow, to think after your great career, it all ended with this game. Who was your brother working for? What makes you so sure that I know? We all can find someone. A brother's a good place to start. I don't know. I never had a brother. Hamilton. Hey, 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 you all right? He's dead. I know, it's hard. But you must have some way to at least find out who he was working for. My brother thought that he was protecting me. But I need no protection. I wield the staff of Magius. How's the killer supposed to know he didn't tell me everything? Ah, besides, <laughs> I'm trustworthy as the day is long. It's not like I'm going to tell anyone about his secret hiding places. Excuse me, what, 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 what are you talking about? What about hiding places? <laughs> you know about the hiding places, huh? huh? Well, then, you know more than I do. Hamilton was like... Leonardo. I promised I would never tell anyone about the hidden alien treasures underneath the basement floorboards, and I meant it! In secret compartments all over the blasted house. If I could just find them, I could plug them in. Maybe sell them on eBay. Well addressed. But I don't know where the hell half of them are anymore. Maybe I should just clean the whole place out and move. But in other words, I have to locate and unlock secret compartments in this cottage to find the address to Hamilton Cyberspace well? <laughs> well, well, yeah, that's the idea. Hope you like mini games. Doubt you're clever enough to do it, though. Doubt you can do it. 
<laughs> Oscar nominee Burgess Meredith, ladies and gentlemen, big hand. You snoop around too much for your own good. I'm more dangerous than I look. I warn you. I'm a servant of the secret fire, wielder of the flame of honor. <laughs> <laughs>